That's hiding the rolls. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> Hide the chins. All right, boys. Yeah. yeah. Going live. Five, Ooh. four, three. Ooh, why are you yelling? Ooh. Here we go. Get excited, baby. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I can't hear anyways. Yeah. Morning, Jesse. Hey, hey. Our newest coach on the blue. Yeah. How's welcome, it? welcome. Welcome, welcome. So you had your whole week by yourself. How'd that go? It's been fun. Yeah, it's, it's been, been fun. It's been fun having a good time, yeah. yelling at everybody to move. And <laughs> well, you're the master motivator. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I bring the energy. You are an excellent assistant coach. I uh, took the week yeah. off for you to take the lead, take charge. I've heard some good things about it. Uh, what do you notice different about assistant coaching and taking the lead, coach coaching? Um, taking the lead, I'm a little more in control, and um, I'm not. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you got to worry about the music. Worry about yeah. the music, the timer. The some playlists are bust. Some mm. some of them are good. Some of them don't yeah. entertain everybody. I played an all Disney playlist the other night. <laughs> I know. I heard. I had fun with it. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what? You could play a mix, and you're like, "Hey, this is a fire mix." And then you could you can do a different workout, and you're like, "Hey, this mix definitely doesn't vibe doesn't work no. with the rest of it." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm learning the playlist. Yeah, you'll find your own. Yeah. You'll, you'll get your go-tos, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, you don't need too many. No. You know, no you're going to run don't. four classes a day. You don't. So if you get six... Hey, Jerome, this has got a background noise. Yeah. I don't know what that is there. Um, intro. Intro. We're not going to do the intro. Okay. We're just going to touch point by point. Okay. Because uh, we got a lot of good questions. Very okay. good, by the way. All right. Yep. So uh, let's tell everybody what you do prior to coaching. Yep. All right. We... Uh, should we go far back as your uh, transformation? Everybody knows. Used to be a little chub rock. Yeah. A little I chunky was monkey. Two hundred and thirty pounds. So how do you get how do you get that big considering how and there's nothing wrong with being that weight, yeah. but how do you get to be that heavy considering how light you are now playing that much sports? Like how often were you playing sports then? Uh, it's still the same amount, really. I so would, lots. Like, yeah. Give us but, an example of like what would be a so in the win average week. Winter time, I would play on three sponge hockey teams. Yeah. So two, three, four, six games a week of that, mm -hmm. and then I play ball hockey Monday nights, and then I play ice hockey once a week. Yeah. Sometimes twice, but then it was all right. Let's go for beers. Yeah. Beers. And let's eat a burger. Let's order Burgers. pizza. <laughs> All that every game, it was just eating, drinking. So it, it was. You were definitely so. You know the basic science behind weight loss and weight gain is calorie in, calorie out. Like that's oh, the yeah, basic stuff. Sure. And so when you're playing hockey, I don't know about you, but like when I play a sport, especially one where you're constantly moving, yeah, you're burning a ton of calories. Oh yeah. And so you're probably consuming if you were gain if you gain that much weight, you're probably consuming yeah. over a thousand calories on top of what you were burning. Yeah. That's insane. Well, and then I'd I'd work uh, in a kitchen too, oh, so okay. I'd work long hours, eight, twelve hour days, mm -hmm. and just munching on just garbage that's coming out of the deep fryer every day. Oh yeah, and I'm not having proper meals or anything like that. So it wasn't just after the sports; it was all it everything was, that you're eating during the day. day yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then after work, last thing I want to do is go home and cook because I've cooked all day. Mm -hmm. So I'd run through McDonald's or something like oh, that yeah. home or <laughs> yeah, you know. That's a misconception about sports. Going back uh, two seconds. Yeah. You know, everybody, whenever we ask somebody, so what do you do for, you know, activity? I yeah. play hockey, play baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I used yeah. to play baseball. Most most useless sport for oh, yeah. calorie burn. You can be chubby. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you sit there, yeah. you stand there, you hit the ball, you run around the bases once yeah. every 25 minutes. Yeah. And in between, you're smoking cigarettes, drinking beer. Yeah. And then after you're Long going bench. for the chicken wings, do you ever have, uh, do you ever play at Little Mountain? Yep. Great chicken wings there. Tw like a hundred chicken wings for, <laughs> so I don't good. know, eight bucks or something. Yeah, like yeah. we would just shovel. It was disgusting. It was oh, gluttony yeah. at its finest. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you can never rely on sports, especially as you get, like once you're over a certain age, yeah. you know, you're not playing you're elite sports anymore. You're doing it for the social anymore. aspect exactly. of the game. You're exactly. hanging out. You're drinking beers. You're eating food. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. It's always about drinking. But by the way, since I'm here, I'm going to put a glove on and I may well play a little bit of sports. Yeah. Exactly. Just like hockey. I've got to earn my thing. beers after the game. Yeah. You got to, well, you might have earned a beer. Beer, Especially yeah. in baseball, maybe hockey a little bit more because you're yeah. probably moving a little bit more. Oh yeah. But we're actually just talking off camera about how how many heart attacks happen mm -hmm. on the hockey rink. Yep. Right. Yeah. I witnessed one. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the thing is that most people got to realize if you're gonna play a sport, you can't just go into the sport like you know this is not 1970 where guys would just yep. show up <laughs> and they'd all kind of be on the same playing field. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're playing tier one, tier ten, or you're in the NHL. Like yeah. if you're competitive. As soon as you get on that that the ice or the field or the court yeah. or whatever it is, 
you're going. Yeah, yeah. you forget what your body looks you, like yeah, at that point. Yeah, you, 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 you forgot it. about everything that you didn't do in the past three months. Yeah. And then you're like, well, I'm back on it. We're going hard. And One shift in, you're just like, like oh, I'm yeah. dying. And what am I doing And guys wonder here? why they get hurt. And you know yeah. what I mean? And then mm-hmm. they, I see a lot of guys as, as they age. So uh, generally in the 40 plus, that once they get that one injury, you know what I mean? They yeah. get that one injury, then they just stop playing. And then it's like, well, what are you doing now for activity? Oh, I got to be careful. I got to be careful. Yeah. Like, well, what happened to like the first 40 part years of your life? Yeah. You know what I mean? And now you're all scared. So it's like, take care of yourself long term. Yeah. Right. And then, and some people, some guys my age will just uh, wrap it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just stop whatever it. hurts, they wrap the hell out of oh, it. And they, yeah. they nurse it. So, yeah. you know, they're not the most effective athlete anymore because they're, you know, they, they have a bad knee or whatever. Yeah. They, they have no side to side movement. They can't run really fast, but they still know how to hit a ball or something yeah. like that. Right. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. So that's actually what the reason why I quit baseball altogether was because I knew I wasn't playing at my peak performance. Mm. I knew that I was always kind of taking it's it frustrating. easy. Mm-hmm. Like a, as soon as you hit the ball, I would take off, mm-hmm. pull my groin. As soon <laughs> yeah. as I would round first, <laughs> screw my knee. <laughs> yeah. And I knew that. So I was just taking it easy. And I just thought, why am I playing this? Like for yeah. what purpose? And then I'm sure I'm going to do some more damage. Yeah. Right. So that's why I kind of. Well, you can always just dial it back and just go out and have fun and play. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey? That's what a lot and of And have guys participation do. trophies. <laughs> yeah, big but... pats on the backs. Yeah. As an adult, though, you just go out and you play and you hang out with your friends. I've got friends that I only really see when I play hockey. Jesse, I'll tell you this. I don't have, we all don't have time in our day-to-day <laughs> lives to go hang out. And... When I played baseball and it would get fired up because it's a close call at home or something like that, yeah. some asshole would be like, it's just the game. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I want to smash get, this you're, person. You're not getting paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, it is It is just the game, but it's a competitive yeah. game. Yeah, we're still, yeah, oh, we're still yeah, keeping yeah. score. We're still yeah. trying hard. Yeah. So shut the hell up. You know what I mean? Yeah, Otherwise, go swimming. Be by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Go play it's golf. funny that you say that because yesterday I played tennis. Like I told you boys, it was my very first win. And I played probably well, Congratulations. Not lots. Thank you. I probably played 15 total games in my life, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday I played this guy. I beat him, but it was very quick. It was only like 20 minutes. So I said, do you want to go again? And then we said, yeah, let's go again. And, and, and I said, but you know, we got to play. I said, if we're not going to play, if we're just going to take it easy, let's just let, and he's like, I'm on the same page, man. He's like, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to beat you. He said, that's nice. what he said. Yeah. And I said, okay, good. Because as soon as we start letting off, that's when you get hurt. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was playing tennis just for fun with a friend yesterday and she, you know, just hitting the ball. My arm was so sore mm-hmm. because I'm easing off and just taking it easy. And I'm yeah. stepping weird. Cause I'm not really trying and, you know what I mean? And yeah. then when I started playing him, is like all the pain went away. Mm-hmm. Is because okay, you're doing it right. You're trying hard. You're actually so your focused on what you're doing. Too, yeah. So you're yeah. Feeling those. Well, well think- no, but I was already playing. Yeah. But they, but even after, like when I was done with that, just shoot around. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, my arm was. I couldn't even lift it. I couldn't even turn nothing. Yeah. And then after when I started playing him, it actually loosened up because I was actually using my body versus just. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, flickering it in kind of thing. So. Well, think about any sport. Think about a slap shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you half-ass a slap shot? <laughs> no. You no. You're going to throw your whole body out of oh, whack. Yeah. Like Every something's time. moving way faster than, yeah. you know, you, and you need to hit that puck at a certain uh, speed in order yeah. for it to be faster. You're going to yeah. throw your whole body out, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like half-assing a swing in baseball. <laughs> it's the worst thing you can do for yourself. You got to oh, play yeah. hard. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, I agree. If you're going to play sports, you got to be competitive and you got to keep on going. Yeah. So how do we relate that to the gym? How do we relate that to going gym? Going to sports to the gym? Yeah. So, so not going to sports in the gym, but just competing. Like you come, you give 110% effort. Oh, yeah. You know, the, I always say that there's three levels, okay? There's the bottom level that are either like just getting going, have some type of injury, right? There's just like very, very limited restricted. Mm-hmm. And then you got your like kind of 80 percentiles. And that's where I would consider myself, yeah. right? Like I don't go 120% every time. And then you got the top like five, 5%, like yourself, Caroline, yeah. you know what I mean? Xena, right? Like you got the, and the, the hardcores, Mandy, where crazy. you guys can do multiple workouts and then go around a 5k if, if my or heart, play hockey. If my or heart's something not like pounding it on my chest. I'm not working hard. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Every time. <laughs> so how do we, how do we relate that here at the gym? Like, do you think that people should be going all out? Not at first. Yeah. Not at first. I had the mentality my first day in this gym yeah. where I'm like, oh, yeah, I got this. I can go. Yeah. And I passed out halfway through the workout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just laying there on my feet up on the bench on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> just could not finish the workout. Yeah. I went too hard. Yeah. 90% hard. of every dude right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Give it 50% your first time. Just get used to it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, when you're fresh, everything's kind of light. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. We, we don't do like you know big time deadlifts or anything. Like that. I mean, we do, no. but you know, not crazy. So yeah. guys, right away, they're like, I can lift grab the heaviest. Weight. I gotta get yeah. this yeah. moving. Haven't done legs ever. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ever done a bicep curl? Oh, yeah. I'll grab those 40s the right 40s, there. 40s, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyways, how, how do you compete? So you think it's important to compete in the workouts? Do you have a know. workout I, partner? And, I think yeah, I like working out with someone who's kind of on my same caliber, yeah. who can yeah. push me and I can push them kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm working with someone who's slower and has injuries, yeah. it's hard for me to... I can't push them mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. they're not going to challenge me really. Yeah. You know, I want to go hard on my workouts. I think that's a challenge as a coach is that you have to be able to, you know, there's a lot of times I'll take these two people and grab somebody from the other side yeah. of the room because I know that they're going to be a good fit together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah I've been <laughs> but you out. can't put three people that kind of just follow the leader. I had that today. And yeah. uh, <laughs> you need a leader. And, you, and, and you're like, leader. oh, who do I tell? Because nobody's listening to me in this group. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> That's the other awesome. coaching challenge is trying to split them up, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, you know it's the best for them. But, yeah. So hopefully they come in twos. At least if you come in twos, yeah. you say, yeah. look, you're going to be just in a different group, but you're going to be two feet away from <laughs> yeah, each other. Exactly, yeah. So All of your friends. Cool. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Jess and I always used to work out together. We were never split up. And yeah. I think maybe once we were split up and it was weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, where's my partner? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's a bad thing to always have the same workout partner. You know, sometimes it's good yeah. to see a fresh face or yeah. a new person, the way they move and the way they try, yeah. you yeah. know? Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's always good to challenge yourself a little bit. So step in a group that maybe the person's just a little bit, you know, more, like has more strength in you or goes yeah. a little bit more. Always trying Find to push, to push yourself. You more. Yeah. For me, that's what's key. You come in here. All I ask is that you give me your best effort. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Just come in here. Give me your best effort. Don't kind of like walk over to the next machine and you know what I mean? Like, I want to see you actually like show me, you don't have to give me, you don't have to bicep curl thirties. You know what I mean? Curl what you are capable of doing. And I think that that's how most people will be able to get the best results. I think that an attitude, you know, sometimes you're just not at a hundred percent. Like this week I haven't been at a hundred percent. So I know my workouts aren't where they should be, but I know to show up every day, Mm -hmm. right? I still got to move the body. Show up. Um, you know, but and as long as you're not, you know, I mean, as be as as positive as you can be. <laughs> yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Try that. That's always the best. But, it, you yeah, know, yeah. the people who are saying, like, yes. Yeah. yeah. OK, Just here we around. go. <laughs> here we go. How many funny jokes I got to tell you to put a smile on your face? <laughs> How are you doing today? Fine. Usually I come around to Rick about 12 times in a workout. You know, this week it's been about six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> sometimes as a coach, you got to know when to give. And sometimes, you know, when you need to back yeah. off a little bit. Just yeah. let him do his thing. Yeah. Don't poke the bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what about date night? Like, like I train with my wife. I think yeah. it's amazing. I think it's a great time together. Endorphins are feeling, motivating each other. Yeah. Kind of like you're, you know, you're chirping back and forth a little bit. I kind of like. I gotta that, watch though. my chirps though. Oh yeah, your chirps get pretty. <laughs> pretty <hilarious. laughs> so what tough. kind of chirp does she love and hate the most? Oh, she hates them all. Oh, she yeah. hates the chirps. Yeah, she doesn't like it. I can't push her. She can't. That's because no. you know the buttons. That's why. I know the buttons. Your buttons are deeper than just like uh, like yeah. a superficial button. Come on, Jessalyn, let's go. You gotta move it. I'm moving as fast as I can. <laughs> Leave me alone. I got this. <laughs> that's probably just a husband thing. You can only yeah. tell your wife to so many things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But she just let the uh, somebody else. <laughs> Get in there. Yeah, yeah she's good. Yeah. When I'm training with Neri, I'll be like, "All right, everybody." So, and I'll I'll be tired, right? And I'll be like, "All right, so everybody, watch here. Neri's gonna do this exactly <laughs> yeah. the way I just said it. Yeah. So let's go over here, Jerome. Let's follow Neri." And yeah. Neri's like, <laughs> she goes yeah, "I've seen it. that." <laughs> she's trying to modify. She's doing. The, I'm like, "No, Neri, let's go. You got to show the world how to do it right." <laughs> See, that's a different thing because not everybody's wife is on camera. Yeah. Where she's got no choice. She's like if got she no put choice. that Jess Lynch, you'd be like, "Oh, whatever you say, you yeah. got it. I'll do yeah. it." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so have you had the pleasure of training your wife yet? No, not yet. Oh wait, yes. Yeah, yeah, it was her milestone. You it was her 400 workout. How's that? Um, it was fun. I was trying to poke the poke the button. Poke the button. Yeah, but yeah, it was okay. Yeah. It's. I think it's a fine line. Like my mom works out at my 945s, and I'm trying not to get too uh, fired up because I know her on a personal level, mm-hmm. right? Like you know, the, the people around you are generally the people that you drive into a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I find you do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, and so then Big I'm time. like. Then you're just like, and I'm like, okay, you got to, you got to, you know, find that level, right? Instead of going to 11, you got to bring it down to a six. And so when you're training your partner or somebody that you really know, like your brother or sister or mom or whatever it might be, you got to know when to really, all right, bring it back a little. (laughs) Don't call him out. Don't call him out on camera. I got some looks that work out. (laughs) (laughs) How do you guys feel about like, so I'm watching this baller thing or whatever. It's that LaMelo guy, you know who they are? So the ball family. So there's three brothers. They they played in Chino Hills, dominated high school basketball. The brother's playing in the NBA now. He's 
kind of okay. He's a starter. And then they got this young guy, and he's only like 16, 17. He's playing in Europe, and he's just amazing, right? What are you talking about right now? Like a show on Netflix? Yeah, it's, well, they're basketball. Like, they're, they're high school basketball, but their dad is, uh, I think he was an actor or something like that. Okay. And he rips into him, man. Like, oh, oh yeah. my God. Like, in front of the team. Do you know why you guys lost? Because this little idiot right here. And I'm like, man, like, this kid's going to go that's... places. But we had this conversation yesterday. Like, is yeah. it good to be that hard on your team? You know what I mean? Is winning everything? Like, are you willing to make that guy crumble to win a game? I don't know. Would you go there? Like, are you that kind of guy? Um, and do you want to be coached like that? You know, where somebody's just ripping in you. No, I don't, no, because that's just how you'll discourage somebody. Yeah. And if they can't take it, you'll they break them, right? break them instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I can see that there's time there where he's, like, in there. tears. He's, imagine your dad is yeah. your coach, okay? Yeah, and there's different. 15 guys around you. And he's just ripping in you, calling you every single I'm like, he's going places because his dad's super hard. I've seen it with hockey. Sure. He's ripping in you. Yep. But I don't know, man. Is that good for him? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think so. Too much. And is it different good. strokes for different folks, right? Like Jordan was hard on his teammate. Greatest, greatest player of all time. It's worst teammate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, which would you rather be known for? I don't know. I think it I think there's gonna be a balance of um a high level of respect. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll take somebody's bullshit if you yeah. really, really respect them and you yeah. know that they're moving you in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. If they're just trying to uh, talk down to you or make you look stupid because... Because they're angry. Because they're angry yeah. and you don't really yeah, respect that's that. That's going down Yeah, if they yeah. see the quickly, potential right? in you and you're not giving it everything... <laughs> exactly. Then, exactly. Push. Yeah. And especially if you're getting paid millions of dollars to do it. Sure. Then, yeah, you better be moving. Yeah. 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 So, wait, so what sport was this and how old this was this basketball. kid? basketball. Well, his ki the kid was probably 14, 15. Okay, so they're not getting paid to play sports yet. No, just, okay. no. And he's the coach of... He's the coach the of this kind of higher level team. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, club ball or whatever, but they tour their Team USA and whatever. Yeah. And Like, yeah. I'm just watching all the kids and they're just like, you know, like he's sitting there and, and the dad is isolating him. And I'm just... And all the kids are like this, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't you know work. What I mean? That kid's yeah. running yeah. away crying after I that. remember my dad would go nuts in the stands, and it was embarrassing. <laughs> he would get kicked out. Like, he would get, he was for me. Yeah. He wasn't yelling at me, but he would yell at the refs. He'd yell at other teammates. Yeah, my dad was hot-headed with oh, the ref referees, He would always too. get booted out. And I'm like, oh, I don't like this yeah. at all, yeah. man. It's embarrassing. <laughs> like, No, never had uh, my mom. I didn't have a dad's, but my mom was pretty good. She was never a lunatic. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was a hyper fan. She was a super fan, but yeah. nothing that ever embarrassed me. <laughs> like, I can remember anyway. Yeah, my dad always got in arguments with referees. There oh. was one baseball game I was playing as a kid, and yeah. there was some kerfuffle at one of the bases or whatever, and he just got into it the, with the umpire. Oh, yeah. And then he got, he's like, hey, you got to leave. And then he's like, I'm not leaving. I got all my kids here. I'm not leaving. <laughs> and, like, and then right. it's like, then if you don't leave, we got to forfeit the game. So we let it forfeit in the game. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I kind of don't disagree. I think it, I think there comes a certain bubble when you're an official or an ump or ref. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be insulated. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're going to get the shit from the crowd. But yeah. if it comes to the point where it's too much and he's really coming after you or the mother or yeah. father's really coming yeah. at you, you got to get rid of that. You know, yeah, like you're do. just disrupting everything at that point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But so going back to your point about um, pushing too hard mm. and then Ralph Campbell, we're talking about participation trophies. Mm. Yeah. What's the balance? Because I never want to be playing an environment. I would never raise a child to be you're just like everybody else. Yeah. And you, you're in 15th place. No problem. We're still going to give you a trophy. Like, I feel like that's a great way to set your kid up for failure. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that since you're a new dad? Um, I don't know. Um, I still want them to go out and play, try hard, and mm -hmm. but at the same time, like. But do you think somebody you should win and lose? Think well, that's yeah, important. Yeah, you should win and lose. You should learn how to lose. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Be a grace, great, graceful loser, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've lost lots of games and won a few, and mm -hmm. it's easier to win, but yeah, you got to learn how to lose too. Yeah. I, lose, lose with a game plan. Yeah. So if you lose, like you know, if I've just accepted that I'm losing with tennis, I would never get that yeah. exhilaration of winning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, not to say that I'll win my next game of tennis, but I won that first game, and it took me 15 different yeah. guys to get there. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you talk rewarding. about if you lose more yeah. to win that game, you feel more rewarding when you. Win I'm not that used game. to losing like that. If you and lose I, you know what I mean, to take those lashings, starting a yeah. brand new sport from scratch. Yeah. Think about that, right? Like that's brand new. Yeah, it's movement, but man, that tennis, yeah. that it's like 
stick handling. It's, it's like swinging, mm-hmm. right? Like most people can throw a ball, but not everybody can hit. A not ball. most people yeah. can throw balls. Well, yeah, that's no, true. No, not <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> but people have a general concept of how to like sure. get the ball from A to B, but maybe not the right distance. Right. But swinging a swinging a bat that takes the skill, right? Because yeah. you got to hit it out front, and yeah. you know what I mean. And it's just and it's the tennis, and so. For me, I think that that's what you go through is you got to be able to accept the wins and then you got to plan to get better. And so that's why I asked today at, at the tra- training session, all right, who feels like they gave me a 10 today? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I want you to come and you got to you got to yeah. give it your all. I don't want for me when I'm coaching, I don't want you walking out of here feeling like a failure. No. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. so what I ask is, can you give me a 10? And I always give everybody opportunities to give that to me. Is that all right? You, you The first round wasn't great. Let's just beat it. Right. And then I'm like, OK. Now what? Let's get better. Yeah. Let's just get better right now. You can make that change right now. Yeah. You don't have to ride out the rest of this workout, just like your life. Your life doesn't have to be crap for the rest of it. You have that opportunity right now. Make that change. Yeah. So do it right now while you're working out. Yeah, in that moment, give it your very just best. Give it just whatever you got. Very best. Let's give it. Yeah. Some people are slow starters too, like yeah. myself. I I'm a slow starter. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't want you <laughs> on me on those bikes yeah. on round one. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Oh god. Back no. off, buddy. Yeah. Just back off. Let these warm. Let my bones warm up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But come uh, round three, you know, round no. three yeah. and you feeling you know your body can move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you can start chirping. I mean, no problem. Yeah. The, right. the thing sure. I I dislike the most about working out is warming up. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just want to. <laughs> I love the warm up. I just want to start playing. You know what I mean? Like me that's too. how I am. I'm I go intense like, on warm up. You ready to go, so. Rick? Like you know, you ready yeah. to play? Like right away, right? And I'm always like, warming up before anyone. Yeah. I'm always just jumping on first and just go. I warm up because I know the importance. Just like I eat vegetables, yeah. right? Like <laughs> yeah. I don't eat vegetables because I enjoy them. I eat them because I know I need them in my body. It's just like I know I need to warm up, but I don't enjoy warming up. Yeah. <laughs> You got I know it. if I don't warm up properly, I'm hurting something. Oh, and that's, I have to. Yeah, I have yeah, to and that's that's up. why I do it. But yeah. otherwise, I wouldn't. If I could just go out and play, if I can just go out and, yeah. and lift heavy weights right off the bat and go 110, percent I'd rather yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like today, I was swinging my arms every which way direction, just trying to get them all loosened up, <laughs> yeah. just in case I'm gonna pull something. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I'm nice and warm. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. And that's what when I warm up now, is I reflect back on my injury, and when I got hurt is when I didn't warm up. It's like I couldn't even warm up. I was just way too broken, Yeah. right? Like I came in a game injured, not hurt, not sore, mm-hmm. right? I consider there's three levels. I was injured. Like my, my yeah. knee was torn already. And then I came in and fractured the kneecap. And I couldn't warm up. I couldn't even run around, nothing. I was like, just let's just go and play. Jump in, yeah, yeah. Let's just go and play. Boom, sure enough, boom, major yeah. injury. So now at least if I ever get hurt again, I always want to make sure that I've done at least the procedures prior. You know what I mean? Like did I stretch after my last game? Did I warm up properly for my next game? And then did I stretch after my last game? I always make sure I got those layers in. And then at least if I get hurt, it's like, well, I did everything I could yep. to prevent it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So a lot of people know you. Some people don't. Yep. Um, why don't you tell us about your new fatherhood experience? Ooh. Oh, yeah. So we, Destin and I just adopted a baby girl. Mm-hmm. Eleanor? Uh, Eleanor, Eleanor from, from Nunavut. From Nunavut. Nice. From, through Adoption Options. Nice. We had it. She's five months old now, or almost five months. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's been fantastic. So, how many times a day does your kid shit itself? <laughs> At least once. <laughs> does it stink? It stinks. Okay, because yesterday Kai took I a dump and I could, I almost puked. Well, Kai's probably eating real food too now. Right? He is, yeah. She's oh, still, yeah. We have, we're just starting introducing solid food now. Okay. So, that's. We haven't seen any that's change a, in the poops yet. The just wait. So, when it goes from mush in the diaper to yeah. an actual log. That's oh, a whole nother level, that. man. It's been it's been <laughs> green, yellow, level. mush right now, and the mustard, right? <laughs> your your, uh, your tolerance <laughs> for thing is things are gonna go, go way up. up. Oh yeah, way up. Does that do your kids have like that face? Like yeah, wipe it, wipe <laughs> it. <laughs> no jets. No, all <laughs> all done, daddy, <laughs> daddy, and he just keeps calling me. I'm like, like oh. all done is in. I shit myself. Come and do no, something. No, no, he doesn't. You know, oh, he's on the toilet. We plop. On oh, the I see. Well, I can see the face. I can see her face when she's got a poop though. Like her face just goes. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> it's like, That's oh. like his face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then Jess is like, "Don't, don't change her too early. She's not done yet." And then I always change her a little bit too early, and then oh, mid poop. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, gross. So the first time it happened, I changed her, had the diaper off, yeah. and all of a sudden had her legs up in the air, about to wipe. Yeah. Poop. Poop. Another one. Poop. Right across. Poop, poop pellet. 
Poop fell yeah. right across. Oh, it Has was wet, too. Has on your face yet? No. <laughs> okay. God, no. <laughs> I don't think it sprays that way. Oh, right? man. No, it's just Boys, it's straight up. Boop. Yeah. They actually have a little, P, it's called a P, P cup or something. TP. TP? Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to put, it's like a little TP, and you put it on top it's of a the kid's cone. penis or whatever, okay. so that yeah. when it sprays, it just goes down. Oh. But, but then it just goes down on the bed or whatever, right? Yeah. Like, I'd rather know he peed, then I can clean him. Yeah. That kid's got yeah. enough pressure to, like, give it a little distance? Oh, yeah, you get it in the face. Really, eh? Yeah, it's happened to me with Jet. Oh, wow. Yeah. In your oh, mouth? I got a girl. In your mouth? I've got a girl. It doesn't taste good. like anything. Their pee is just clear. Yeah, you gross. can actually drink your own pee. So I think. gross. Yeah, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, no, you can. There's actually a lot of nourishment in there. There's a, a UFC fighter called uh, Leota Machida, <laughs> yeah. and he drinks his pee in the morning because gross. that's where all the nourish- nourishments are. Is that for real or is that bullshit? That's hundred percent. I've watched the. It's on YouTube. Yeah, Leota yeah, nothing, Machida. Grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> no way. It's, oh, he's a um, UFC. Is he an he's old school champ. UFC? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. old school man. He's yeah. the karate guy. He looks yes. like uh, Ryu, and he front kicks everybody in the face. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And he and this is his claim to fame. This is his. Uh, he just did a video powder. one time, and I think it just made it. You know, he's lucky back then it wasn't about memes and stuff because he would have got oh, just yeah. trashed. No right? kidding. Yeah. Oh my God, that's funny. So, so how? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was go just ahead. gonna say. So, we had some questions for you. Yeah. So, what sparked you to wanting to be a coach? Um, I really never thought about it, but it was just I was working out every day and at home, and then you approached me. What do you think about coaching? And mm-hmm. thought about it, and yeah, I could do something like that because mm-hmm. I enjoy working out with others, and mm-hmm. I've been pushing who's ever with me or, or people around me a little bit, and. Mm-hmm. So why not? Just take next step. How do you how do you find the learning process? Because I've sent you videos from like yeah. super in depth. Like this guy's gone through the whole regime, and now yeah. so we went from strength training anatomy where you're seeing jack guys and they're doing bench press. You know which muscle fibers yeah. are working, all the way to what's the latest video series that I sent you? Um, motivation and coaching and uh, alternate exercises for plus size women. For and, plus size women. Yeah. Like it was such this this woman does such a great job. Yeah, she's fantastic. It's easy to make it. I, I you know, there's a couple different levels, right? So there's like the ultra hard that maybe you'll get one percent of your population to do. Yeah. Then there's the hard that the eighty percentiles can do, and then there's like you got to get to that bottom level because mm-hmm. that's the whole thing that this is group training, but it's still group personal training. Like yeah. we're running around adjusting elbows and, yeah, and everyone starts somewhere. Yeah. And you don't want to hurt someone right off day mm-hmm. one. Yep. So you've seen you've seen it all now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you definitely don't want to discourage the new people. No, mm-hmm. exactly. You, know, you want to make sure they feel welcome because a lot of them hate that. You can see it in their face. They're like, oh my god, like they don't want to come back. They're yeah, embarrassed. No, it's yeah. not easy. If you can get or them I past hurt that, myself, I'm not coming back. Mm-hmm. Or this just hurt me. Yeah. Or... If you can get them past that hump to know that, hey, listen, what you're doing is fine. The fact that you're here is fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. because you can't do a bicep curl. Yeah. Or straight arm pull down. Yeah. Or tricep extension. We'll get Nobody it. can do it. Yeah. Nobody ever does it right. Just so you know. Yeah, you know there's certain exercises. Yeah, it's but... all about just getting in the door every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. your biggest challenge is going to be so how do you motivate or how do you coach the brand new people? Yeah. How do you coach your eighty percent? Yeah. Then how do you coach your one percent? Right? Yeah. That's yeah. always the biggest challenge, man. Oh. Yeah. If you yeah. get that, then you, I mean you've got a, a huge following, yeah. and and I think that's the difference maker. So what's the biggest hurdle that you've had to overcome since coaching? Like it's been a week. Yeah. Right. So it's nice and fresh. So what was the biggest hurdle this week? You said music was music tough. was tough. Yeah. I'm trying to find something different. I, yeah. I just don't like listening to the same thing over and over again. I, I know. Get, it gets boring for me. I just need something yeah. different, new. Yeah. So if anyone has any good playlists out there, let me know. <laughs> you Fix know what? That's cloud. that's always been <laughs> our biggest problems, right? And you know what I've learned from the past is that yeah. sometimes, like, it's just look at Motley Crue, look at Aerosmith, yeah. look at Guns N' Roses. Those guys don't all of a sudden stop singing Welcome to the Jungle because they get bored of it, no, right? Like, yeah. if your fans love it, sometimes you just got to bite it a little play, bit and yeah. just – take it in and just yeah. say you know what that's fine like yeah. you guys when... everybody's singing along to this one song let's yeah. just let's just yeah, play it again good. yeah and there were some days even when i was working out it's just like hey this playlist again <laughs> yeah it's like this has been the playlist on all week <laughs> you know what we and i find that some new. people are in tune with the music and some people aren't <laughs> mm-hmm. oh like, i read they off like just having a I good read off music i'm the same way yeah, yeah i need music i need tune good and music. i can kind of sing along i forget yeah. that it's hurting right now you know yeah yeah i hear you but i mean don't put too much emphasis on it because you gotta remember you got to a room full of people yeah. who all have different tastes. Yeah. Oh, I know. And do not try to keep them all happy. You will lose your mind <laughs> oh, trying to do yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Remember that. our playlist before? Like before Mixed Cloud, like there'd be oh, everything mall? from like Motley Crue to like Zumba stuff to like rap. And then it would just like, there's just such a wide. Because you're trying to, we made a thing, a post. It's like, what kind of music everybody's like? And then you had 
Some people wanted country. Some people hated country. Some people want classic. I remember playing like classic rock in yeah, here. Like yeah, like old, old rock. Like old rock. 60s or 70s Six, rock. Yeah, and I'm like. I tried that last night, a 50s, 60s no. mix. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was like yeah. the first three songs of my. Okay, it's pretty good. And yeah. then all of a sudden, halfway through the workouts, like this music just died so on me. So slow, yeah. <laughs> and even like if you go too fast. So for the 215s, I have faced the challenge of finding fun music that won't get blocked on Facebook. Yeah, right? that's a challenge. That's a challenge. That's and annoying. so I was looking at maybe let's go high RPMs, like BPMs for this one because yeah. it's like a cardio one. And it was like, <laughs> like te- super techno. And I'm like, I'm not playing this. Yeah. <laughs> like there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. got to find that like – Perfect regime. Yeah. And, and you got to yeah. have lyrics too in your music. You do. You do need lyrics. I don't like the non lyrics. We tried that with some of our videos and it's yeah. you know, not good. So, what do you think? You, you, you're you what, Monday? You took over here. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, you is he coaching tonight? Yeah. You getting the full week off, Eric? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's happy. Okay. He yeah. needs to recharge. Hey, he's yeah. a bear. He needs to go and hibernate for a little while and then come back. And That's crash. it. Yeah, we all it, crash. I, and I agree. We all crash. Uh, I agree, man. Thursdays by Thursdays. That's like right now, I'm just peaked out. That's why I look forward to today. Yeah. Because I don't need to do any, like, just leave it be. And I just get to get on a podcast, do another podcast, coach, coach again, then go home and just shut it all down. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So, what do you think is, um, what is the best part so far, coaching? Um, just making people laugh and smile on the, out here and yeah. just see them working real hard and challenging them. Have you said a bad joke yet? Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever said one where you're like, I don't know if I should have said Well, it's funny you said that because <laughs> he was doing my review one day. And okay. the, and what did you say? Oh, yeah, yeah, said, yeah I read yeah. that. It said like, joke. It was joke like, failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jesse. Something positive. The joke. You tell the joke. <laughs> what was bad about this? The joke failed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, get used to it, man. Oh yeah, get used to it. You, you got to throw... trial and error. And of course, you want it to be yes. natural, but also at the same time, you can't just say everything. That yeah, comes yeah. To mind. just laugh at your stupid yeah. jokes. Just oh yeah, be the only you, person. Be the only one yeah. laughing at him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll study up some jokes. Okay. Some bad dad jokes. Yeah, yeah. Dad, yeah, that's getting there. Yeah, yeah. You've been married for ten whole years already, eh? Ten years, yeah. You're thirty-four. Thirty-four. What made you get married so young? Why do you think that was a good idea? Um, I don't know. She was just the one. Oh yeah. Yeah. We. Started dating in Red River at Red River School, and you guys met in school. Yeah, okay. and then we had some time there. We dated for two months, and then I went off to Prince Edward Island for a work term for the summer. And then we lined up just chatting online every single day, and then she came out to actually visit me, and that's mm-hmm. not cheap either for oh, yeah. a week. And then it was just you just knew then. Mm-hmm. Then we just yeah. Then it was like a year or two later we got engaged. And yeah, where'd you get married? Where? Where? Yeah. Um, St. Alphonsus Church. And then we had a reception. That's here in Winnipeg. Winnipeg, Winnipeg yeah. Okay. And then we had a reception at the Radisson. Nice. The she worked there at the time at the front desk. So, have you ever been to Redwood or Red River? What's Red it called? River College. Yeah. Have you been there? Uh, like which one? Uh, the Notre the Dame main campus. campus. We were at Notre Dame campus. Um, yeah, I, I took business admin for two months and then I quit. <laughs> okay. So I was there. Yeah. 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 So I, I personally think that that campus is laid out to just like make out everywhere. Oh, like it's big time. dark everywhere. Yeah. There's like so many little coat like there was, sofas uh, and hidden nooks. The room called the cave. <laughs> and it had all these nasty <laughs> futon benches yeah. and there were these squished down <laughs> bench seats and yeah. there was there was uh, one of our first little dates, I guess, yeah. at, at school. We went and sat in there and yeah. Schindler's List was playing. Oh wow. And then we started making up the Schindler's <laughs> List. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. All I remember <laughs> is uh, two things vividly. Number one, all of my teachers or professors were hundred and fifty years old. Yeah. yeah. Old, old guys. Yeah, yeah. And, and women. Yeah. And then um my locker got broken into. All my books got stolen. Oh, so I was like, no. screw this. Yeah, I'm out. I, I just figured I'd just go start a business and so learn you had that no way. Motiva- so. Nobody was there. I to was so you. pissed off, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, and I just remember thinking, what what are these old timers going to teach me? Yeah. Like they were so old. They weren't 45. They yeah. were 60, 70, yeah. Yeah. 80 years old. Like, I don't think professors are like that now. Like, I look yeah. at high school teachers yeah. now, and I'm like, damn, these girls are, like, 21 years old. Like, yeah. I know. Yeah. I probably would have studied a little harder. <laughs> exactly. I would have went to teachers. school. <laughs> I would have went to school. I had yeah. all these old teachers back in the day. And Me yeah. too. They didn't care. Me too. So so with school starting up, right? Yeah. Like, you know, they, like with kids and everything, do you think that there's going to be a whole new wave of teachers? Like, do you think they're going to get younger? Or do you think that your old teacher that when you were in high school is still going to be teaching? Because with the whole COVID thing... I don't think there's going to be a new wave. I, I mean, teachers are still going to be teachers, but I just find that that teachers, 
I think there was a generational shift in teaching. I yeah. don't know when because I've been out of school for so long. Yeah. But I, I've just noticed it now. It's just like, you know, you see who works out here. And they're all teachers. I'm like, well, man, you guys are super attractive. Like, yeah. And you're not 85 years old. Yeah. So yeah. this is, I feel like, is the yeah. new wave. As far as uh, will there be a shift? I, who knows? Who man? knows? I, who I can know. guess anything right now? I don't know. I mean, I'd love to predict the future. I think I predicted everything wrong up to this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> there is no prediction. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Whatever. Yeah. It's one of those. It's, I think I feel like it's a time where you're kind of just living day to day. You have right? to. Nobody ever tells you just live day to day. But God some people God. do. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, man. And yeah. then you're like, now you're just like, all right, man, whatever. It can wait. Yeah. Or I'll do it now and get it done. And then, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. whatever happens tomorrow happens tomorrow. But it is affecting a lot of people. It affects yeah. me too. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Not The unknown. You're not sure. Like. <clears throat> I'll be honest, one of the things that bugs me right now is the smaller classes in the evening. Oh, yeah. And I know that people aren't working and, you know, so they're coming in yeah. early to get it out of the way. Yeah. yeah. But it affects my psyche because I'm a coach to yeah. many, not to mm. few, right? So it's like, when is this going to change? <laughs> yeah. Is this never going to change? <laughs> is this how it is? You know what I mean? Am yeah. I going to become a personal one on one, one on three coach now? Yeah, like, we can start yeah. filling these classes in the evening. Yeah. yeah and, and sure. you know, and, and every, you know, we're all saying, well, it's people go back to school or they're yeah. going to go back to work or whatever. But are they? Yeah. <laughs> Who well, has a job back, anymore? I, th- I don't know. I think they're going to, they're going to try and force everybody I go to back go back to in September. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's, that's basically like Neri. She goes back to work in September or whatever. And yeah. they're like, you're coming to the office. It's like, well, you oh, don't have you only have twenty five percent of your people working in the office. Why is it that Neri has to go to the office? Yeah. Like, I don't care either way, and she wants to go back because she likes to get into a routine. That's nice to get out but of it's like, too. why are you forcing somebody that hasn't been there in eighteen months to go and work? You know what I mean? Like yeah. in the office, yeah. like is can, like when everybody else is working from home. But she I think that's age. what's going to happen to most people is that you got to come to the office. They're like, we we're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for this big building we just bought where you're yeah. coming to work. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, and you have to have some control and you got to create your culture and you want to yeah. know who your coworkers are. And yeah, it's a sense yeah. of a little community, yeah. physical community. You can only, yeah. you can only love each other so much through zoom. Yeah. You know and I mean? was thinking of that too. I was like, man, I don't, I'm not a zoom. I don't want to talk to you on, t- on messenger. Like, you know, me, with me and you, it's like a phone call. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm generally, if it's, if it's not in person, it's going to be a phone call. But I, you know, I'm, okay I'm tired with just of a quick text message. Too. Yeah, but some, but so some of the stuff is, you know, when you get into an intricate conversation, like being a coach, yeah. I, I find it really hard. Like I, so somebody sent me a message yesterday, asked me about this, like fat loss program. And he's like, should I consider it? And I said, well, the only diet that works is the diet you adhere to. So it doesn't matter the little tips and tricks that people are putting out to. You need to just stick to something and be consistent with it. And so I put down, here's my thoughts on maybe what's affecting you and not losing weight. And so I listed up five or six things and then I went back to my day yeah. and uh, he didn't respond. And I'm like, all right, he, offended. Probably, he got offended or I something. Offended. And he took it the wrong way. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just trying to coach you and I've got five minutes. So here, this is everything yeah. that you're going to get. Yeah. And if but we were for in person, I would have a whole different, like we would break it down. We'd have a, yeah. you know, conversation. Yeah. But as soon as you're writing anything through message, somebody sees an, uh, a little phrase on an ad or something, they get super offended. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just words. I know. You know what I mean? Go watch TV for five minutes. Go watch a commercial. Yeah. Like turn on the news. You know what I mean? I, heaven forbid you see anything wrong on the internet. Like, I know. Who cares? Like you, you know, if you see something on a post or whatever, I put a hashtag hashtag, uh, you know, bless, right. Yeah. Or something. And then, you know, you read into it wrong. Mm-hmm. And if you got a problem, then call me, don't message me. Yeah. Yeah. Cause if you're trying to start up, a, 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 like a beef, I call it right. Yeah. If you're trying to start a beef, don't start a beef through text. <laughs> because no. it's it just never going to end well. It's yeah. Yeah, only gets worse. You can't read their and when I watch people like <laughs> writing this like long email, I'm like, yeah. why? All call that cats. person. All cats. words, yeah. <laughs> poorly spelt. Yeah, incorrect. No periods, no commas. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea if this is one continuous spelt rant. I yeah. got the is, wrong. Is there word. a point in this? <laughs> yeah. Is this a question? Are you yeah. asking me? I don't. As soon know. as it gets longer than this <laughs> yeah. on my messenger, I start skipping lines, and there's a good chance I probably didn't read it all. Yeah. yeah. So if you're gonna send me a direct <laughs> message. It needs to be brief. And if it's something that you're trying to start a beef with, then let's arrange a time yeah. so that we can actually have an open discussion. And let's about just it. get together and punch each other in the face. Yeah, just get one punch. With. Let's go. One shot. punch. Yes. Shot for shot. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but me first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? You ever see this contest? They had the slapping contest. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah. This is the dumbest thing. Oh, wow. It's is that, the that's most in Russia, right? It's all over the place. Yeah. Or is it? No. It's all oh, over yeah. the place. Oh, you oh, get yeah. one good I think slap. they've done it here. 
I've seen it. Yeah. Whop. He just winds <laughs> up. I saw one guy. He's practicing on watermelons and he's just gone. <laughs> yeah. And he's just crashing Well, that, I watermelons. guess that would probably be the same thing. It's like you yeah. slap a watermelon. It's like slapping a face. Yeah. Yeah. I he's guess crashing so. Crashing <laughs> watermelons. Like they're exploding as you can slap a watermelon. You can slap a face. That, <laughs> that just, you know, that that's just a, like a low end human thing to do. Oh, in my yes. opinion, if that's your way of competing by yeah, that's so slapping stupid. each other, right? That's a stupid competition. <laughs> you know, I wonder if that's even called. I guess you even slap. know what it's called. Nah, who slap knows? Does slap? Does D-U-S? slap. <laughs> okay, you used to be a little chunky monkey. Yep. Now you're not. Nope. But you still play the same amount of sports as you did then, as opposed to now. Yep. You work out way more. Yep. Let's talk about your diet. Mm. You're a cook, so you're familiar around the kitchen. What do you eat now that has helped you change your body? Because now you're pretty lean, man. Yeah. Yep. Um, I eat more salads now. <laughs> That's a tip from Rick. Yeah. yeah. Eat yeah. more salads. Yeah. That's probably number one. And okay. with protein, I eat lots of chicken, mm. pork, and mm-hmm. do you do you, so? Okay. So today, did you yeah. eat yet? Um. Yeah. I've okay. eaten today. So what'd you eat? Today? So my mornings usually start with some Greek yogurt, bananas, love bananas, mm-hmm. uh, strawberries, some blueberries, mm-hmm. and granola. Yeah. That's kind of my morning with a with a coffee mixed with protein powder. Okay. Mm. That's kind of my go-to every morning. What about weekends? Um, I try and do the same for the most part. Yeah. Sometimes we go out and yeah. eat and. I find if you start right. your day off with something bad, it just it just continues to spiral. Yeah, it's an addiction, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I find if I start with my my regular meal, yeah. I'm usually good. pretty good. Yeah, and then if I do have a off meal or whatever, like mm-hmm. a cheeseburger, fries, or something like that, mm-hmm. it doesn't affect me anymore. Mm-hmm. So pre, so fat Jesse, you were just eating burgers all the time. Oh, burgers, pizza. What would your day you, start like? Yeah. Oh, before it was like toast, peanut Coco, butter, Cocoa puffs. <laughs> I was never a cereal guy. Okay. I don't like cereal. <laughs> I would yeah, I would always try and do the yogurt fruit kind of thing yeah. or oatmeal i did lots of oatmeal uh lots of toast mm. eggs bacon mm-hmm. this was pre yeah pre. Yeah. so did you do you remember consciously thinking maybe i should try to eat better or did you even care um for the most part i didn't care yeah no you just shove it in your mouth i yeah. guess and then at work too like there's so much like pastries and stuff like that at work mm-hmm. and i have a huge sweet tooth i love desserts i'll <laughs> eat a muffin a cookie all day long yeah, yeah. and it doesn't fill me up no, never. it doesn't. Never. I can eat sweets all day long. Oh. It will not fill me up. Don't you find that well, interesting? Never will. You can just no. eat candy and yeah. you know, things like all that day and long. just never feel full. No. Well, there's no nutrients, right? Yeah. It's just no. empty. Yeah. So you might as well just... And then, so I've noticed that I had I, I cheated with McDonald's uh, a few weeks ago mm. and I had it as my dinner. And then the next morning I woke up feeling just starving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where if I have like a nice salad, chicken mm-hmm. or a little stir fry or something like that, the next morning I feel okay. I feel mm-hmm. comfortable and... We had that garbage food the night before. You wake up feeling starving. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, because your body has nothing to work nothing. off of, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think that's that's if people are asking, well, what you know, what kind of diet should I be on? Like the the easiest advice would be, just find something that is somewhat decent and just yeah. make it a part of your routine. Something you like. Yeah, it doesn't have enjoy. to be eggs Florentine, and you no. know what I mean, like these crazy. Oh well, you know I'm tired of this recipe. I'm gonna try something crazy. You're, yeah. you're gonna make too it much. so complex that you're your not gonna too do anything. Much, yeah. Just find your staple. Find your even, staple and just eat it. Brec- like yeah. breakfast, find what works for you in the yeah. morning. Yeah. And just stick to that. Stick to that. Yeah. I can eat the same thing every day. I have yeah. No problem with yeah. that. Yeah. But a lot of people can't. A lot of people, yeah. you, we're just so accustomed to variety. Like you gotta yeah. have Italian today, and you yeah. gotta have your yeah. Portuguese tomorrow, and you bring in the next day. I more variety in my dinners than my breakfast. But breakfast, you know, you're fueling the tank for the day. Yeah. Keep that consistent, but then the rest of the meals sometimes I'll switch them up, no problem. Yeah, I think too what you have to do, and I don't know how this affected your psyche, but I'll go back to my fat days. Is that I didn't care how much I ate. Mm-hmm. I would eat the worst food and just as much as I wanted. Oh yeah, right? I could eat the whole I pizza, would, no problem. Yeah, I'd tell her to bring something home. I'd just eat all of it. Yeah, no, I had no uh, shame, no guilt, <laughs> no. no nothing. Yeah, and I really feel like you have to have a little sense of guilt, and yeah, you, you have do. to feel ashamed. Yeah. yeah, you know oh, that's yeah. that's gonna be your own yeah. motivation. Yeah, yeah look you in know? the mirror. Exactly, look yeah. in the mirror. You hate what you see. Stop eating all the time. You yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes you got to be a little bit harder on yourself. Don't you do. Just, don't yeah. just give your a pass and oh it's okay. Yep. Yeah. Don't you justify don't, your don't bad behavior. Don't give behaviors. yourself a participation award. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How does this make you feel? Yeah. And remember that. I leave my uh, scale next to my fridge at home. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I'll weigh myself every morning <laughs> just to make sure I'm on par. <laughs> Whatever works, man. Yeah. yeah. And then I haven't weighed myself lately. Because I've been in a good r- rhythm or whatever, yeah. but like I know, like if late night, if I walk into that kitchen, mm-hmm. I'll see that scale and be like, okay, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about your alcohol consumption? Has that decreased? Um, a little bit. Yeah. I still go out for beers after hockey. So what does that mean, beers? 
Uh, one, two, maybe three sometimes. So it's probably four. Maybe. Just give me the. <laughs> just give us the truth. I don't know. How I many beers? Keep count. <laughs> four beers. <laughs> couple in the locker room. Mm-hmm. Couple at the at the bar after. Okay. Yeah. So we'll say four to six beers. Yeah, maybe. So you were so fat Jesse, four to six beers. Thin Jesse, four to six beers. Yeah, still about the same. Okay. But not as much though. So your success doesn't necessarily come from cutting your alcohol consumption, but definitely your food. Yeah, definitely the food. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the working out every day. Mm-hmm. And the working Before out every day. Before I would never work out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would just be a hockey game. Mm-hmm. Right. And then I'd be wouldn't be able to go as hard as I could now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was kind of one of the reasons why I started working out as well, because my hockey game was just like, I can't move, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. feeling lazy, I can't back check, mm-hmm. kind of thing. So <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm feeling useless out here, I got to yeah. do something here. What do you find people, uh, when they see you, if they haven't seen you since you were yeah. pre, pre-fitness, pre Jesse, what is their reaction to you? Um, just like, holy shit, you lost lots of weight. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I don't even recognize you anymore. Yeah. 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 Do you find that you get a little a different level of respect? Have you noticed that yet? Do people um, treat you differently? No, not really. No? People no. grind you a little bit more now? Maybe well, a little just bit. Just carrot sticks. And yeah. you ever get any of those little, uh, little jabs? Uh, there was a time where we were doing detoxes and stuff like that. So oh, we were yeah. only drinking water. So after games, I'd be the only guy sitting there with the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's chug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know you're setting yourself up for something. Oh, yeah. Right there, right? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, listen, we hit our uh, we hit our time. Mm. Anything else you want to tell? You still have your YouTube channel? Um, still promoting that? We're not doing that very much lately. That was our COVID fun. Yeah. I was fun. getting bored during when COVID. When you had time. Yeah. Lots of time at home. Yeah. So just so everybody knows, you're going to be coaching periodically in the evenings moving yep. forward. You go back to your regular job next week. Yeah. So it's going to be you and me yep. during the evenings. Oh, yeah. All right. So and weekend. And the weekend. And the weekend, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I got the hill this Saturday. Cool. Yeah. So everybody's invited. Come to the hill. Everyone's Coach invited. Jesse's first one. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. And if you got yeah. plans... Get rid of him. Yeah. He'll wait. I'll wait. He'll wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm still waiting. Have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment this video, share it with everybody. Pickclubmedia.com on YouTube. Yeah. Woo.